Hello and welcome to the PC Security Channel. In this video, we'll be taking a look at Bitdefender's anti-ransomware component. If you want to watch the full review of Bitdefender Internet Security 2017, you can do so using the link in the description or using the card at the top right hand corner of the screen. However, in this video, we will be testing one particular component and seeing if it can stand up against the onslaught of ransomware. So we have added these locations into the ransomware protection module. Let me just show you what files we have over there. As you can see, we have some really valuable data that we just can't afford to lose. Let's see if Bitdefender can protect it. So. To challenge the protection of Bitdefender, we have some of our worst fears. In this folder, we've got enough destruction for several computers, and way too much for one. Some of these are very lethal and uh, are going to completely destroy the operating system. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run through them one by one. We're going to try with the non-lethal ones first, the files that do not completely render the system unbootable. Keep in mind we have disabled every other module in here. We don't have uh, the usual antivirus protection or active threat control. Once again, I'm going to clarify this. This is a test of the ransomware prevention module alone. If you want to watch the full review using all the different components against a variety of malware, you can do so. But here we are trying to simulate a scenario where you're hit by ransomware that is totally unknown to Bitdefender. So because practically it's not possible for me to get the newest samples out there before Bitdefender does, I'm going to turn off the antivirus components and assume the worst case scenario. I think this is going to be interesting, so let's give it a shot and see how it goes. By the way, all of these threats have been explored independently in separate videos, so if you want to watch any of these threats in action on an unprotected system, or you want to know more about them and the destruction they can unleash, please check out the Meet Malware playlist, which I will also link in the description and as a card to this video. So I'm going to start with um, Jigsaw. Once again, you can check out the video if you want to see what it does. All right, so as you can see, the user account control alert is overridden by Bitdefender and it says Bitdefender AMSI provider blocked this app to protect your PC. So it seems like this program was blocked outright, which is really interesting. Let's try Phantom. I think it has been able to run. Keep in mind, it doesn't matter whether or not the system is infected, that is not what we're testing. The only motive of this test is to figure out if Bitdefender can protect these pictures from being encrypted. So we're going to see if um, Critical Update, aka Phantom, is able to get to these files, or whether it completely fails. Now I'm going to run Locky which is another deadly ransomware. Cerber is probably going to sign us out, so I'm going to keep that for later. Okay, it seems like Phantom has taken over the screen and it's trying to encrypt the files. Let's see what it does, and I'll be back after a short while. By the way, if any of these ransomware files manage to destroy the operating system, we're still going to use a recovery solution to see whether or not our protected folders were affected. So once again, the point of this video is to discover the effectiveness of Bitdefender's anti-ransomware module, whether or not it can actually save your documents from getting encrypted in the worst case scenario. So I'll be back once the system is running again. Phantom has successfully changed the desktop background, so I'm assuming it has gone through all its encryption methods possible. Let's see what happened to our pictures. Boom! As you can see, none of these were touched. So once again, Bitdefender was able to protect this computer against this ransomware. Let's step up our game and execute Shade. This ransomware is particularly dangerous and the encryption quite strong, so if you 
happen to run this on an unprotected system, you're not going to be able to get your files back. Let's see if uh, our pictures are still protected. So far, I don't see anything. I'm going to go ahead and run server after this, and that might sign us out and reboot the system as well. Luckily, nobody has encrypted the ransomware folder itself so far, so I haven't had to grab these again. In the end, we are going to run Petya and Satana, both of which overwrite your MBR. All right, as you can see, Windows 10 file. This is um, the extension used by Shade, so it seems like it has taken hold of the system, and it's slowly encrypting more and more files. Once again, the pictures remain untouched. Usually, it would just encrypt the pictures first, because that's how ransomware works. They go for the easy targets, the most valuable and vulnerable. Now, as you can see, um, now Shade has taken over. All of our files are encrypted, at least the ones that were not protected. But the pictures remain as fresh as the winter snow. It seems like the anti-ransomware module can be a real lifesaver in some cases. Let's continue and see what more devastation is going to be unleashed. Now we're going to go for server, and I'm also going to execute the green Petya. This one does not seem to be able to run at all. The Defender AMSI anti-malware service interface, I guess that's what it's called, supposedly blocked it. But we did get um, server to run, and that's going to sign us out. Might as well run Satana. Now nah, we'll just wait until we get back in so that we can make sure we run our final and probably most deadly sample of all. Now our system's being rebooted. This is server playing its tricks. It doesn't do this on a Windows 7 system though, which is kind of odd. So, it reacts differently on Windows 7 and Windows 10. If you watch the video of Cerber, in which I actually demonstrated the threat, that was on Windows 7, and it just instantly encrypts the files and plays the audio warning. But in Windows 10, it seems, it's going to reboot the system, and it's going to do something else. We'll keep checking the pictures, because that's what this is all about. In my opinion, that is really the best way to fight ransomware, because you can never be too sure. Protecting your documents just takes the ransom factor out of the equation. And there are only so many files which are really that important. I mean, you wouldn't really mind if some downloads were encrypted or programs were encrypted, which you could just get off the internet again. So usually the amount of sensitive information is quite less, and they're not modified that often. I mean, how often do you modify your family photos from two years ago? But those are the things that people usually end up paying ransom for. So I totally see the usefulness of something like the anti-ransomware module. Once again, seems like Cerber Attention. has taken hold. Attention. Attention. Your documents, photos, databases, and other important files have been encrypted. Your documents, photos, databases, and other important files have been encrypted. Oh really? Let's find out. Whoa. Now this is a surprise. It seems our files have been encrypted, despite Bitdefender's anti-ransomware protection. Well, it seems Bitdefender isn't running anymore, so Cerber did the trick. Let's see if we can restart Bitdefender. Doesn't really matter because the damage has been done. Whoa, it seems like Cerber has totally destroyed and deleted Bitdefender. So, of course, um, if I had the other protection components on, maybe this wouldn't have happened. But then again, I didn't really turn off self-protection or anything like that. I just turned off the antivirus and the active threat control. So... The reason why these files have been encrypted is probably because the Defender was shut down, meaning it could not protect these files any longer. However, this is totally um, a practical scenario if you think about it. Let's say 
there's a brand new ransomware not in their signatures or cloud and it somehow slips through the behavioral monitoring or there's a new obfuscation method that is going to prevent Bitdefender from finding a new variant of ransomware like this, then it is still possible for it to encrypt your files even if they are in the protected folders of ransomware protection. I have also noticed um, a few comments from people who have told me that this has happened to them with the Zepto ransomware as well. A lot of people got hit by that and Bitdefender's anti-ransomware protection wasn't able to protect them in that case, which is again part of the reason why I was so interested in seeing how it would perform in this version. But it seems like it is still possible to bypass it. Of course, this is a very extreme scenario. You shouldn't be worried because of this, but more work can still be done. I'm not going to run Satana anymore because it's just pointless. Bitdefender has been shut down, so it's just going to take over the system and completely destroy it. So if someone from Bitdefender is watching, um, please uh, take note of this. The sample of server I used is probably one of the most common variants out there, so in my opinion, this should not have happened. Nothing's perfect and neither is Bitdefender so, and we just saw one of these flaws right now right in front of us. If we had the protection features enabled I'm confident that it would have been blocked by either the signatures or the active threat control. This particular variant is going to be easily detected by any popular AV but um, that's not the point. What we were trying to test in this video is what happens when you get hit by ransomware which is not recognized by your anti-malware product and uh, despite Bitdefender's exclusive um, module ransomware protection which um, aims at dealing with something like that um, it has failed to protect us from server. I believe this is still a new feature and Hopefully they're going to do some more work on it and improve it. I think the idea is nice and it is a necessary feature in many ways. Um, I believe that many AV companies in the future should come up with something like this and uh, hopefully the effectiveness is going to improve as years move on. It was able to protect us from a lot of other threats. Phantom, Jigsaw, Loki and even Shade were bravely fought but um, Cerber was a little too much. You fought bravely, Bit Defender, but in the end, it wasn't enough. Not against some of the deadliest threats out there. Well, I should also say that you had both of your hands and one of your legs tied behind your back, but, well, I wouldn't consider something like this happening to be impossible. Unlikely, yes, but impossible, no. So, just something else to work upon, and, um, as for you guys, I think this should just show you how dangerous ransomware can be and why it is absolutely imperative for you to keep backups of your data. Nobody realizes the importance of that until it happens to them, so don't be that person. You may have the best security on the planet, you may have uh, three antivirus programs running, doesn't matter, keep a backup of your sensitive documents. That is the only thing that will assure you that your data is not going to be affected should the worst come to pass. So I hope you enjoyed this video. This is Leo. Thank you for watching. And as always, stay informed, stay secure.